Hey guys, it's Jamie with the Summer Rain Channel. Welcome back. So today we're going to be making a do-it-yourself foaming hand wash. So I made this to be super easy to make. So whenever you're learning how to make something new, I find that it's always best to like start with a super beginner recipe and then as you get more comfortable, add in new ingredients, swap stuff out, all of that jazz. So down in the description box below, I'm going to post the full recipe for this foaming hand wash. I'm also going to put a link to my blog. So in the blog, I go a little bit more in depth about pH level and where that falls and the surfactant active matter that's in our hand wash. So if you want to know more details about that, feel free to hop over to the blog and check them out. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and learn how to make this hand wash. I also want to show you how it comes out. Um, it's kind of a weird angle. But as you can see, you do get a pretty good foam from your hand wash. So let's go ahead and learn how to make it. So let's go ahead and peek at our ingredients here for our foaming hand wash. We have vegetable glycerin. Now vegetable glycerin is a humectant, which means that it draws moisture to itself. So it's gonna draw water to your skin. And then we have two different surfactants. The first one is cocomidal propyl butane, and the second is cocoa glucoside. Now these create the bubbles in our hand wash. And then we have a fragrance oil. Now I'm using Berry Merry Christmas, which smells amazing, and a preservative. So preservative is super, super important because anytime you're using water, you have to have a preservative or you're gonna grow some nasty and unsafe stuff in it really quickly. And then we have distilled water. Also in this foaming hand wash, you're going to need to make sure that you get a foaming container. This is actually the secret sauce to the hand wash. So if we were to thicken it up, then we could go ahead and use it in a regular like pump container. But because this one's going to be pretty thin, you actually need the foaming container. And then this is optional, but I went ahead and grabbed a little bit of colorant. Now this is like a lake dye. Um, just because I didn't want it to be like an off yellowish color and you'll see in the clear bottle, I would rather have it be a nice blue color. So all you need is just a wee little bit of colorant to get that color. Let's go ahead and make our hand wash. We're gonna start by adding our distilled water. And then we'll go ahead and give this a good mix. And now we're going to add cocomidal propyl butane, which is our first surfactant. And give it another good mix. Now, once you add the surfactants, you're going to want to mix um, pretty slowly so you don't create a bunch of bubbles. And then we'll add the cocoa glucoside, which is a very viscous liquid. And then we're gonna go ahead and give this another good mix. See with the surfactants in there, you can see that it's already starting to create some bubbles. Add our fragrance oil. And we'll give that a good mix. See, this is where it turns to like a cloudy yellow color. So before you add the fragrance oil, it's pretty clear and it would look okay in the jar. But once it gets this cloudy color, I think you need to add color into it. And then we'll go ahead, we'll add our preservative. And we'll mix that up. I usually don't measure in drops, but in this case, you kind of have to. So I'm going to start with one drop of colorant and see what color we get. I actually like that, but I want to see if I put another drop in. How it looks. I think I like it better with two drops. Okay. 
and then go ahead and grab your container and we're just going to pour this in here. And then we'll put the lid on. Oh, it's foaming over a bit. And then what you want to do is just move your lid to the open position. And there is your foaming hand wash. As you can see, you get quite a few bubbles when you get it out of the pump, and that's all due to the foaming top. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy making your own foaming hand wash. Bye.